And then finally we go to the third product, which is the shot light wash. Here we go to something completely new, really completely new. This is why May we applied for the Innovation Award, because this is a product that doesn't exist in the market. It doesn't exist in the market. What we did, we have combined in a wash a stroke. So we have, we have a standard Alpha Wash 1500, which built in a completely separate module, which is, called, which is a, a, a 3000 watt Xenon strobe, 5600 Kelvin degrees, so very bright, very, very daylight uh, brightness. The tree lamp, uh, the, 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 you can see from, <clears throat> from this picture, it is not uh, actually golden. The picture is golden because I don't know it's uh, made in the stand. But you see, around the, 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 the head of, of, of the straw, of the wash, we have built this, uh, this crown, this circle. The, the, the straw lamp is circular and consists of two segments. It's not one single lamp. It's two segments, one and two, semicircular, and they work in the, independently. They can be switched on together or separately. And, you, and they can be switched on, of course, together and separately uh, with the wash. So you have actually three lamps in the same fixtures, creating any kind of effect you like. The, it is extremely impressive when you, see, when you see it working. Of course, it is extremely powerful. From this, from this viewpoint, I wouldn't say that it is an eco-friendly product. So I cannot answer yes to this question. No, it is an, not an eco-friendly product. But innovation is not always eco-friendly in, in, our, in our business. Very often in show business, we have to run after power. We all remember that when we start with moving lights, we started with 575 watts, we moved to 1200. Now everybody's moving basically to 1500 after having been through the 700. And unfortunately, if we want to create a wall effect, sometimes we need power. This is a special product anyway, which is helping a touring company to combine in one fixture only two products making their, their inventory more efficient, if you want. And especially, they create a completely new effect for lighting designer. Because when you see this product on stage, it is really, really very impressive. The strobe is the best strobe available in the market today. It allows you permanent strobing uh, at, a high, at a very high frequency and at a very high power. And when you switch the lamp off, you can immediately uh, switch it on again, so it has this hot restrike with no, uh, you know, normally strobe have a sort of uh, dead time. This is not here. In the product, we also took in, in account one important thing. You know that we ha there is a form of epilepsy created by flashing light. I don't know if you're aware. Uh, this is specially related to television, not to normal shows, to television. Television can create this problem. So we have taken into account this, uh, this, uh, this uh, disease. There are some recommendations issued by the International or even British Association of Epilepsy. And uh, we have created an operation mode which is, which is fulfilling the recommendation of, of this uh, institute. And we will submit the product to a test which is called the Harding test. Harding is the prof Harding professor is a professor who created uh, this, uh, this test and, uh, they, and gave the, the, the suggestion to make uh, the product suitable to the application in TV when you're strobing. And uh, the, the user of the product will be able to choose the, a sort of uh, harding mode through the menu of the product. Not every time when this will be needed for, in, for the application. So, at the end of everything, we have a very, we have Alpha Profile 700 which in our opinion is an innovation. First of all, it is an innovation because it's the first 700 watt profile spotlight available in the market with a very nice framing system. Second, but, and a very sophisticated optics. Second, we have Sharpie, which is innovation for the type of lamp that we are using. It is innovation for extreme brightness. It is innovation for the quality of the bee, which is extremely pure, very fast, the smallest available in the market, the most powerful beam available in the market today. And third, we have, in our, in our opinion, another very innovative product, which is shot light, wa uh, shot light wash, combining a wash light with a strobe light. 
a very powerful wash light, the most powerful wash light with the most powerful strobe light available in the market. All in one feature, all working in a very versatile mode, in a very efficient mode. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have questions. Yeah, the, uh, the shot light. Yes. Can you, uh, are you going to bring that out as a retrofit onto standard? No, we can't uh, retrofit it because the electrical part, the way you supply uh, electrically the product is rather complicated. Actually, the product has two uh, power input, one for the strobe and one for the, for the and you, they, you can use it, even use the product just as a wash light without, without uh, connecting it to power or the opposite. No, it cannot be a retrofit. It's just, uh, we will probably make uh, uh, more versions uh, with, uh, with the beam maybe, or, but no, you can't retrofit existing products. And are all three of these lights in room two next door? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They are visible at our stand or in the conference room. Are they, when are they going to be in, ready to go to market? They are going to be ready in different times. Uh, the, the, the Alpha Profile will be available in November. The Sharpie will be available in December. And the Shot Light will be available late December, January. Uh, and what's the prices are we talking about list? Sharpie is uh, around the price of a Beam uh, 300. So it has a much better technology, but we priced it around the Beam 300 uh, price. The, the 700 is 25% uh, more expensive than uh, Alpha 700 Profile, no, no, not Profile, HP, I mean our effect uh, spotlight. And uh, the wash light, uh, the, the spot shot light wash, I, sorry if I don't remember the prices, by mem by, but I think it is 2,000, Euro more expensive than uh, uh, Alpha Wash 1500. This is list price, you know, but in, it, in you know, Italian list price are, uh, you know, we Italian customer, and not only Italian, uh, a lot of people buy discounts in the, instead of buying, uh, <laughs> of buying fixtures and features. So, <laughs> so if you want to sell discounts, you have to start with a very high price list. Let's say that in, Net price, it would be about the shot light would be five percent more expensive than a wash, not much. Very marginal price increase to a lot of features that uh, and unique features. How do you um with the shot light? Are you imagining particular applications for that unit? It's a it's a is a funny and good question anyway because you see. Normally, people like us uh, develop product as a, as a reply to the to market request. But this kind of product has not come from any customer imagination. It has been, I would say, more uh, Packy's, you know, Packy's, uh, Packy is a visionary. And he, 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 he got the vision of a product like this being very effective. Uh, because he saw that uh, strobe are still widely used in touring, mainly, in touring. Uh, and, uh, and there are not many strobe available in the market. And, uh, and the strobe itself is a very primitive machine. So he thought that by combining the technology of moving heads with, into, into a strobe or vice versa, we could get something completely new. It's, it's, it's from clay packet, this is a sort of provocation. It's something that we offer the market to see if the market will enjoy it and will like it. We have already got a lot of positive uh, feedback, even on paper, you know. Uh, if you go on the light network, uh, we, you can see strange, uh, strange uh, sentence, uh, statements from, uh, from uh, lighting designers, but uh, just because they, they heard about it. I think that the only reply will come from the market. I think that the strobe itself, it's a very nice machine. So it, it could be a standalone machine, and it will be a standalone machine, uh, either static or on a moving yoke. Then the addition of a wash or any other source. I forgot to tell you that all of, all of these three products uh, have patents or patents applications for different reasons. For instance, the Alpha Profile 700 has a patent application for the profile system and for the optical system. 
the, the, uh, the shot light, of course, has a patent for the combination of, uh, of a strobe light with, with a moving head with any kind of light source. So we, have, we can use it also with LEDs or uh, with the laser eventually. And, uh, and the Sharpie has a patent on the optical system because this is very important. I would like you to, to share with me this. Sharpie is not a low technology product. It's a high technology product. The optical system in Sharpie is extremely expensive. Sharpie is not affordable for a DJ. They cannot buy it because it is extremely high quality from the optical viewpoint. And the optical system consists of three, three lenses, moving lenses, because we have a small, a small zoom to focus, to focus the beam when, you are, when it's far away. And the combination of the lamp, the Philips Platinum Series, with this optical system is patented. Philips own a second patent, which is the combination of this lamp with a tunnel, a light tunnel, which is placed just in front of the focal point of the lamp. Of the, of, the lamp, of the lamp. They collect the light inside the tunnel. They offered us this possibility, but Paki thought that it was not the right approach for a good quality projection. So we made another system and we patented it. So today, if a person, any company wants to use this lamp, they have to go through either the Philips patent or our patent. Our patent allows five times more light than the Philips one. It's not because Philips is not good. It's simply because Claypack is an optical company more than a lamp company, so we are a little bit more skilled from uh, optics. Yeah, you, you mentioned that there are two power inputs yes. on the shot light. So one's for the strobe and the other one is for the rest yes. of the moving head. Do you recommend that you use a dedicated power supply no, for because the shot they, lights? No, they are... They are yeah, of course, if, if you, it's always good to have a breaker yeah. at the end of, of each line. But uh, no, they are made to work on standard, uh, on standard lines. Okay. So you don't need a special line for the stroke. Okay, so the It's totally protected. Uh, the electronic is made either to protect the line and to protect also the lamp itself. We have developed a special electronic where you have a special a sort of uh, overcharge on the line. The, the, the power will go down to to restabilize again the, the power consumption and everything else. So it is now electrically, it is being made to work on standard lines. Okay, all right, thank you.